name is Melanie Ryback. And my name is Gudge Hoffman. And we're the, from the Freie Universität, or the Free University of Amsterdam. This film today is going to tell you a bit about the RFID Guardian. That's a handheld device that people can use to control their security and privacy in a world full of RFID tags. Since we're going to be discussing secure RFID security and privacy today, first I'm going to give a quick primer on RFID technology, specifically the setup that we're using. This here is an RFID reader. It's uh, produced by Philips. It's a MyFair iCode RFID reader. It works with MyFair contactless smart cards and iCode RFID tags. These here are iCode SLI RFID tags. These uh, are high-frequency tags. They work at the frequency of 13.56 MHz, and they work with the ISO 15693 standard. These are fairly standard tags in applications like supply chain management and access control. Now that I've explained a bit about our RFID equipment, let's see it in action. We've taken the RFID reader and we've attached it to the computer, as you can see here. Here is its user interface. It's polling right now, doing something called inventory queries, but it's not registering any RFID tags because they're too far away from the reader. They're not being picked up. If you take the three RFID tags and you place them within reading range of the reader, as you would expect, the three RFID tags show up on the user interface. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the RFID Guardian. This is the project that we're building at my university. Right now, we're still a bit in the rapid prototyping phase of our project, so we've done most of our development using ProtoBoard and a Triton development kit. At a certain point, we're planning on replacing this with a printed circuit board. But for now, I'll give you a little tour of each of the pieces, just so you can see generally how it is and how it's put together. The first component is the Triton Development Kit. It consists of an X-scale processor, the PXA270, and it functions as the central nervous system of our RFID Guardian. It has the microprocessor, it has all of the memory, and flash memory, and basically it holds the entire system together. The rest of the RFID Guardian consists of analog electronics. There's two most important parts that we're going to demonstrate today. Combined, these two parts, the tag transmitter and the tag receiver, allow our RFID Guardian to act like an RFID tag. This here is the tag transmitter. This produces sidebands that are used to spoof RFID tags. And this here is the tag receiver. And the tag receiver simply picks up the signal of an RFID reader and it decodes it so we can understand what it means. It's also useful to keep in mind that the tag transmitter and the tag receiver both have their own unique antennas. So, now this is the interesting part. It's time to see the RFID Guardian in action. Now, just as a preliminary setup for our experiments, we've taken the RFID reader and we've set it up down here, probably about a half a meter away from the RFID Guardian. If you look at the user interface, you can see now that it is constantly in polling mode, and that is picking up three RFID tags that are located right now directly on top of the reader. The RFID Guardian is controlled by a serial interface that leads to a computer that's being controlled by Rutger over here. In our upcoming experiments, the RFID Guardian is going to be turned on and off at various times by Rutger. Now we're going to demonstrate tag spoofing. As I mentioned before, the RFID reader is in polling mode, and you can see that there are three RFID tags that are currently found. Now if Ritger starts up the RFID Guardian, as you can see on the screen, this three tags is now picked up as four tags, and it's still in constantly polling mode, so you can see that this is reliably looking like four tags. We're now going to demonstrate the RFID Guardian's tag jamming abilities. Now, it's not just any kind of jamming, it's selective jamming. And we've configured the RFID Guardian to take one out of the three RFID tags and make it completely unreadable to the reader that's trying to find out what tags are available. Now, if you take a look at the screen, once again it's polling and you can see three RFID tags within the range of the reader. Now, if Rutger here activates the RFID Guardian, you can now see that it's went from three RFID tags down to two. So, as we've seen in this demonstration, 
Tag spoofing and tag jamming are important features of the RFID Guardian, but they're not the only features. There are actually more higher level RFID security and privacy features that I haven't discussed. They consist of authentication, key management, access control, and auditing. For more information on these other functions, which I'm not going to discuss now, please surf over to www.rfidguardian.org and you can find some more information as well as some academic papers concerning the subject.